I spy with my little eye something big and bright. These are the words you may be saying a year from now when one of the biggest events in space history crosses over northwest Ohio. The total solar eclipse is set to be one of the biggest sights in our area. But before you look up, there are things you need to know to protect your eyes ahead of the 2024 solar eclipse. So you never want to look directly at a solar eclipse. That's first and foremost. Whether it's partial or total, regardless, never look directly at the sun or never look directly at an eclipse. The way you want to protect your eyes is by wearing specially designed eclipse glasses. Um, these are not sunglasses, so these are several thousand times stronger and have filters that are more dense than your standard sunglasses. But what if you don't know the correct eyewear that will protect your eyes? There's an international standard that's applied and you want to look for something that's ISO 12312-2 uh, is what you want to look for. Um, and that's been deemed to be safe for viewing. You may be asking the question of, why is it not safe if the moon is in front of the sun? So the sun's giving off powerful energy, right? The same energy that fuels our Earth for, ener for all the things we do. Um, those rays, the UV radiation, can cause a phototoxic effect to the retina. And on a cellular level, it actually breaks down. We think it has to do with free radicals and damage as a result. Some of the processes that we also look at and see in cancer. There could be permanent damage if you look for too long. You can get a blind spot. It's normally a small blind spot, either centrally or off-center. We call it paracentral or central scotomas. Uh, normally, that may be self-limited, meaning over the course of three to six months, it can repair itself. There are times when those changes can be permanent, and that's why it's so important to use the proper protection. There are many ways to protect your eyes during the 2024 solar eclipse. NASA is a very helpful website, along with the American Academy of Ophthalmology, where you can easily construct an exceptional, low-cost, of viewing systems at home to view the spectacular view in the sky. Reporting in Toledo, I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby for W2L 11.